are an interesting species. My name's <laughs> Billy. Billy. What a subterranean roly poly. I love roly polies. Me too. Judy, you're not only interesting, you're fascinating. In hey, Judy, I think I'm seeing something special in you that I didn't notice before. You are? Yes. An earthworm! Oh. A peat moss! What? For Lisa. If only I could bring her some peat moss. That would show her how much I care, but I don't think there's any peat moss. I'll do anything for Lisa. <laughs> Nothing more rewarding than providing peat moss for the one who you like the most. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Oh! No! Oh! It goes raining down from above. You're in love. What do you think you're doing with the t shirt, mister? Tuck it in. Look lively, people. There she is. Uh, guys, I'd like to introduce you know, just the way Lisa likes it. Yes? Hey, Billy. Judy, thank you so much. Your advice worked like a charm. Help was in my swamp, so I pulled him to safety. Well, isn't that interesting? Really a winter. Well, since you're a winter, Marsha, here's a winter water lily. <gasps> Look at me! I'm a forest nymph! <laughs> <laughs> Are we not gathered here tonight in order to pay tribute to the wonder that is Lisa? Uh, yeah. So, Lisa... It's all set up for a really cool dinner, but you did what you did, so... Oh, Billy, you don't look so good. As long as you're happy. I am happy! Hey, Lisa. I'm so tired. I knew that day, then I wouldn't have met Lisa, and then she wouldn't have left me in the middle of the night without so much as a goodbye! You're... <laughs> and you know what else, Billy Dilly? You're a terrible friend. Hold. Uh, let me guess. It's just like the hole where your heart used to be before your worm left. How did you know? Because you've been saying it over and And she's about to lay eggs. I'd better take a closer look. Woo, go out! <gasps> Wait, that's not a closer look. <laughs> I disagree. I think it could be your longest one yet. I should get going, Billy. I'm meeting Marsha. W want a dick for roly polies? As I recall, they are your remember Judy, don't you? Judy, you remember <laughs> Lisa? Uh. Ah, hey, Judy, mind if I join you in Marcia? Actually, Billy, it's girls only. Women. Puzzles wrapped in a can. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> Trust me, Marsha. Ta-da! How do I look? Honestly, Marsha, terrible! <laughs> you're in love, you're in love, in love, in love. <laughs> nice try, Billy boy, but Did you see. Cheer up, Billy. At least you're losing to the best. Just keep trying. You're right, see? What if Shlomo Seedman had given up? <sighs> I'll regret it. Tried everything he touched turned to mayonnaise. He was an abject <laughs> failure. Until one day, someone special flipped the switch and he... Mustard, right? Wrong, Zeke Poo! It was delicious golden <laughs> mustard. Of course it was. Rematch, seek, feeding, meat, meat, troglodyticus erectus. Or as I like to call them, troggies. Troggies. Troggies? Look, Zeke, there can be. I've liked Zeke before, so I won't be offended if you cover your eyes and not be blinded by my excellence. <laughs> Zeke shot! 
I think he beat you, Zeke. Maybe this time, Billy, but we will beat these Troggies, one way or another. You're doing great, Zeke! You got them right where you want them! Vic Fascinating. Oh. That's it! A stupid truggy. At least you're losing to the best. You bag. Gosh, Zeke, are you okay? No, Billy, I'm not! <laughs> or like this. <laughs> or like this. <laughs> Wait, Billy, that's it! That's how we'll beat those troggies! I'll prank them with the greatest prank in Subterranea Dania history! So what is the greatest prank in Sub? The classics! The tried and true! The old plastic vomit gag! <laughs> Ugh. Too crass. Dollar tied to a string? <laughs> Pass. Black gum? Just plain mustard! It is. What we need is delicious gold! See it, Billy! Can you see the prank, Billy? I can see it, Zeke! I can see it! <laughs> Billy, you can open. Zeke, get ready to have your pants blown clean off. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Yes. And for all. <laughs> all they have to do is pull the not am pull. I hate you guys. Let me guess. Here comes the egg cannon, followed by fake ice cubes with bugs in them. It's cheap hamster. Or Zeke. Oh, look at the prank cam. Okay, time for the fish full flap. I have the ball. The press! Oh, no, no! The vortex of despair! 999! 1,000! Uh, oh man, Billy, they even out pranked me. Mark that scorecard with another big fat zero. Guess I'm the Troggies. I did? Yes, at losing. See, you lost every single time. So I did beat them at losing. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! In your um facial vicinity. Yep. Looks like a You got it. I got it. We now return to Cheese Cop. Hey, we were watching. <clears throat> I, Marsha, am pleased to announce... <laughs> Subterranea Tania Times. Cute and catchy, don't you think? Now all I need is a cute and catchy story for the front page. Any ideas? Ooh, Marsha, Marsha! Do you love it? It's fungus. You're telling me there's pink ones, yellow ones, puce ones, clear ones, but... Come on, I think they're kind of cute. What's that? No. That's definitely going in the gossip column. Mind, Billy. Not the mushroom, not the woozy. Hmm, was it something about me? It's private, Billy. It's for me to know and for you to never find out. Or me and the mushrooms, or me and the woozies, or just the woozies, or me and the mushrooms and the woozies. I'm an Wandering the night, forever curious. But Mark. I am a hungry baby stalagmite. My doctor says I can only eat 
journal. But I'll never read that journal. Oh no, I can feel it happening. I'll be a giant question mark shaped brain in no time. Hey Z, wanna come outside? For Martha's eyes only. If you are him, the ancient crown of the mushrooms? If he only knew that he is Prince Billy Dilly, guardian of the mushroom patch. I never could have dreamed of reading. <laughs> well, Marsha, aren't you gonna say something? My eyes are down here. What? Oh, I guess you finally read my journal. Mark. Dude, I have come to demand the crown of the Mushroom Prince. That's fascinating. What? Wiley, Prince of the Mushrooms. Sorry, Zeke. Read it and weep. <clears throat> My prince, turn the page. There's more. More? However, Billy M Did? And then Zeke will be made his replacement. I'll take that crown. But you don't even like mushrooms. Who's is treachery of the highest order? You want to talk treachery? I told you what I wrote in my journal was private, but you just had to read it. I wouldn't have read it at all if you didn't really want to know. The woozy said, you smell like garbage. Garbage? You must mean my woozy repellent. Woozy, woozy repellent. repellent? I've been experienced. reminds me, we could all probably use some right now. The woozies can't be far off. You probably just need more woozy repellent. Uh, uh, wait for the ah! The wrong can. The, the wrong, wrong can. can. Oh. <laughs> Fascinating. We appear to be stuck tight to a thick friends. Lab friends, Zeke? More like log friends. <laughs> For what it's worth. Of course, there's such a thing, you snipwits! Exactly! For being a real mushroom prince, he's not much of a fun guy. Uh. Wow, Marsha! Sounds like your first issue was a real hit! Thanks, Billy! Next time I might even print more than one copy! Uh-huh, yeah, I might be starting to miss it. <clears throat> Speak for yourself. Hello, Hagwitch! Apprentice Billy and ex-apprentice Tony. The honor of... Dusting. Dusting? Is this like one of those trust-building exercises? Yeah, we... yeah, something like that. Anyway, Dilly, you don't want to make an oopsie at the Hag House. Some days are good, some days are good. Aren't you imbecile? That's why I'm going to see my sisters. They're beauticians. They are pretty. See you in a couple hours. Out the cabinet. Otherwise, I'd have nothing to forget. V, why don't we get started on that dusting instead? Yeah, maybe you're right, Tony. Doesn't this... I can't, Tony. I'm obsessed. Just imagine the wonders that might exist in here. We can't. We promised, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can you old bags help me or not? I think we can help. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Arr, very funny. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna open for us, Billy. Maybe we should just get back to dusting. That's it, Tom. <laughs> we tried. Like, pretty much everything, right? Yeah, we tried the swim gym, the battering ram, the quill ball. Uh, yucky. Just a second, yucky. We took closing it, right? Right after I find out what happens when milk of the enemy is combined with swamp potato. Right, yucky? Yucky. Yeah. Tony, look. No, I don't want to touch it. Ah! <laughs> 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 need to share the silliness. Gonna spread some silly! Gonna spread some silly! Dustin, you ninny! You know that we cannot afford to try! Oh, well, thank you very much! It's smaller than ever! Do you guys have anything else? Well, 
Well, there is one more thing you could try. Oh, well, time to get a quart of lice cream and wallow in self-pity. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that Count Retcher even had a even sillier? Oh, Mr. Wetcher's probably feeling silly enough, Billy. That's where you're wrong, Tony. Wrong, wrong. Tony, so wonderful. It's time for Hour of Excuses, starring everyone's favorite loathsome loser, the most incompetent little cretin in all the land, the Pharaoh of Hell. How marvelous it is to have a little love buddy like you around. <laughs> Count Retcher, are, are you feeling okay? Why, first and I've never felt better. Big stuck of me, will they? It was in the heart of the battle when all of a sudden. Come back here, Dead! Life is ink! Really? Might have got a little heavy on the swamp potato. Oh, Tony just knew we shouldn't open the cabinet. Now he's going to be beaten up by Scowy Quounds. Yes! Yeah. Or maybe they'll just burst through the door and kill us. I know you're in here somewhere, Billy Billy! Where are you, Billy? <laughs> Roger! Any sign of Billy? I wasn't actually looking for Billy. I just relish the idea of destroying the hag which is below. You have to make a break for it. But Billy, shouldn't we try to fix the problem we caused? Not if we want to live, Tony. Not if we want to live. And this is what I come home to! Wait, what? You open my cabinet! You fool! <laughs> the cabinet was so fascinating! And maybe there were doilies in it! Doilies? And then Yucky came over and opened it! What the heck is a Yucky? Yucky. Razin, and that I should have listened to you in the first place! And then it was right now! <sighs> It's perfect! Uh, uh, it is? What? You saved the day, Billy! Now all of you, clear out of here. I got some cleaning up kind of punishment for disobeying the hag witch. Oh well, another house-sitting success story.